Hello everyone, it is me, Layla Sims here, and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to recolor Sims full hair. The things you will need are a Dot Devious plugin, Photoshop, and the Sims 4 Studio. I want to give you an apology. I'm sorry if that my voice sounds weird, um, very nasally, because I'm coming down with a cold. So, ready or not? Here we go. Let's get started. We're going to start by opening up the Sims 4 Studio. And if you can't do this because you don't know the steps and how to get a .dds plugin or you can't afford Photoshop, I'm going to give you a link in the description to my other video that explains everything more in depth. Okay, it is opened up. We're going to enter a creator name. Live for Sims, I guess just the name of the YouTube channel. Okay, and then make sure create cast standalone is checked. I'm going to click cast. And we're going to do specifically hair. So we're going to do, maybe I'll just do all. Why not? And then we're going to click female because I love doing the female hairs. But you can do it any time of gender you want. You're going to click part type. And we're going to do hair. Okay, I'm going to choose this hair right here. I'm going to save it as hair one or two. And it's going to open up like this. Then we're going to click export. Save it once again as hair. One or two. Click save. It's going to come up as a PNG. Now we're going to open up Photoshop. Once Photoshop is open, we're going to click File, Open. Once you find the file, we're going to click Open. Okay, now that we open the file, all you got to do is just recolor the hair. So we're going to go up to Image, Adjustment, Hue, Slash, Saturation. And as we slide to the left, the color changes. As we slide to the right, it also changes. As for hue, because hue just means color. Saturation is what you think it would be. Getting more dull and more vibrant. I like to be in the middle. Lightness. You guess it, more light or more dark. Or in the middle. I want the color to be, let's find the color. Ooh, that's a nice color. Ooh, I like that. We're going to use that as one of the colors. We click OK. Then once you find what you want, all you got to do is go up to File. Save as. Click Format. And then click DDS. Remember to click DDS or else it won't work. Then click Save. Make sure Mitmap is selected. And make sure it the alpha channel is transparency click OK now we're gonna go to Sims 4 Studio we're gonna click import and we're gonna import the new hair 102 copy.png put it import the new file and now look at that we made our own custom hair you see that Wow, wow, it's exciting, that's how you do it, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, I hope it was helpful, I hope you learned a lot, if you did give it a big thumbs up, comment, rate and subscribe and I will see you all next time, kisses, bye!